Welcome back everyone. We are going to be doing a Sega game, which is based uh, around some manga or something. Anyway, I'm just going to restart the intro so everyone gets to see what I see. This is for the Sega CD. game. Oh, 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 oh. Pausing it and turning the volume down. Holy shit. The story, characters, and events in this game are entirely fictional. Any similarities to actual people, places, and events are entirely coincidental. This game employs RSS Roland Sound Space in some parts. No idea what that is, but... This story is dedicated to all those cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. Based as fuck. June 6th, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Carried by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But Damn. at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? 50 years later, Mankind faces its greatest crisis, the appearance of a mysterious android life form. It's uh, an orb Terminator? Unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps <laughs> an invasion from some other world? It's a Terminator. During winter, killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place Infiltrating. Of employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine. They're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as... Snatchers. Oh yeah, Snatchers. That's the name of the game. Snatcher. It's like Body Snatch Invasion of the Body Snatchers mixed with the Terminator series. Cool intro. <clears throat> Japan. Uh, I hope I don't have to fuck with any of that because I don't know what's happening. December 2047, Neo Kobe City. Hmm. Hmm. Get it. Hey, yo. See if we have any recognizable names here. Mm, not yet. Gillian Seed. Metal Gear. Lucy Childs. Random Agile. Jim Parks. Ray Van Steen. Susan Malay. Or Jamie Seed. Oh, uh, Seed must be a common name. Oh, Mika. Mm 
What the hell? Even shout out to the staff? Respect. Respect. Oh, Hideo Kojima. Okay. This might be pretty good. It's kind of a bop, though. The music. Like, what the fuck else am I talking about? No, oh, the these names are a bop. Mm-hmm. Kita knows. What does she know? Has <laughs> Scott T. Hards. but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! Oh, shit. I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Well, yeah, he was just, like, moving his mouth without talking. We never saw him again. He flew off in that car powered by semen. Estimated age 31. Three years ago, he and his wife Jamie Seed are taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia. Their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia lost in a mysterious mental fog mm. two years ago after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage jamie and gillian separate following extensive special military training gillian is ordered to report to neo kobe city as a joker well, that Effective escalated today. Junker. Konami Omni Building, Junker Headquarters. Also, shout out to Sega for always putting a Sega building in their games. Welcome to Junker Headquarters. May I help you? Well, maybe if I can figure out what button to push. Oh, okay. So somehow we're back to the controller now. Uh, look at the operator. She's a beautiful oriental woman. Poster. It's just a junker recruiting ad. Front pod. It's one of those pod type reception units where the operator sits in a shielded capsule. Oh, it is, yeah. Interesting. This is some pretty heavy duty stuff they've got here. This place may be more dangerous than I thought. Camera. It looks like a security camera. Okay. Door. It looks like it leads into the inside of the headquarters. Area. This seems to be Junker Headquarters Lobby. Their security looks really tight. Yo, it's tight. It's sick, bro. 
Okay, we already looked at everything. Not exactly the best taste, if you ask me. Wait, he had multiple things to say? Oh, no. Are you interested in... Oh, this is Mika. Are you interested in Junker operations? What if we look at her again? She sort of looks like the actress. Uh, what's her name? I'm sorry, may I have your name, please? Investigate. Operator. It's no use. She's protected by a shield. Investigate. Poster. Looks like a government ad. They must be really short on people. Front pod. The shield is heat proof and shock proof. It's specially designed to withstand an attack by snatchers. Camera. It looks like they're monitoring the offices. What organiz uh oh, yeah, she says, uh what organization are you with, sir? Door. It's locked. It looks like the only switch for it's in the operator spot. There's nobody around but the operator. I'm afraid only Junker personnel are allowed inside the headquarters. Well, now we can talk. Oh well, let's try talking to that young woman over there. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. About the Junkers. Could you tell me a little about the about Junker operations? The Junkers are a special task force put together uh, to combat the Bioroid Snatcher Menace. It's overseen by government intelligence agencies. About Neo Kobe. Uh, this is my first time in town. Oh, you'll get used to it right away. Everybody's pretty welcome. There are many different ethnic groups and types of people here. It's Japan, but it's not Japan, if you know what I mean. Tell me a little bit about yourself. About me? Isn't that a bit forward, Mr. Seed? Uh, let me tell you about myself first. Maybe then you'll tell me. I could tell you're very smooth with the ladies. I've been assigned to Junker Operations effective today. You just told me that, Gillian. Now I can enter, right? Mr. Seed? Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian, Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. Hell yeah. Where shall I show you first? The shooting range. Oh, that's right. The chief told me to bring you down as soon as you showed up. The chief? Yes, our big boss here at Junker headquarters. That's his office right over there. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the Chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. Now that was a little forward to just tell everyone. 
look at the sofa. Looks like a pretty comfortable sofa. Look at the picture. A picture of a vase, eh? What a funny design. Look at the window. It's a nice... Uh, it's a nice night view of Neo Kobe. Too bad there are snatchers lurking out there somewhere. Neo Kobe at night. Great view, don't you think? Look at the monitor. Information from all over the world is continuously pouring in. Look at the chief. So he's the chief of Junker Operations, eh? Just as I imagined him. Uh, did you say something? Investigate. The sofa. It's an air cushion type sofa. It's the latest in robot in, in robot sofas. Employing chaos system technology. I'm gonna investigate the picture. Hmm, so this is his taste in art, huh? I don't touch that picture, it's very special to me. an ultra high resolution display panel capable of playing back uh, playing back how playing back holograms as well seed I'm no snatcher ask about junkers Junker headquarters was set up a year ago by the police as a special task force to combat the Snatcher problem. Snatcher operations were officially started in August of this year. We answer directly to the government's intelligence agencies. This poster is really pretty tacky. Oh really? That was my design, by the way. Chief, your taste is right out of the Dark Ages. Oh, says Mika from across the room, apparently. Ask about Junker Authority. A Junker, a Junker operates within, with certain rules and privileges different from regular police officers. Those are, one, the purpose of the Junker Force is to eliminate bioroid snatchers. Two, a Junker, even in the course of carrying out one, must not harm innocent civilians. Three, a subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates the subject is indeed a snatcher. Four, a junker is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. Five, in order to carry out one, a junker is allowed the use of a blaster and a navigator and a turbo cycle. Hell yeah. Those are the five rules. Ask about junker duties. A junker's job is to figure out who the snatchers are and to eliminate them. I want you to put your special training in the military to good use and investigate those points about snatchers that we don't yet understand. We've got to put a stop to them. About Junker's staff. A Junker's job is highly specialized and extremely dangerous. That's why there are so few of us. I'm the chief, Harry's the engineer, and then there's Mika. Gibson and you are our only runners. It's just the five of us. Ask about Snatchers. Yes, three years ago the Snatchers suddenly appeared here in Neo Kube. We have no idea where they come from or what they want. We do know that they kill, copy the appearance of their victims, and take their place in society. And that's... Uh, and that their numbers are increasing. That should be enough to make your duties as a Junker quite clear. This is your Junker ID card. It will identify you as a Junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. 
I see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? And, uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Thank Sounds you. like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. Possessions. Look. Junker ID. This card gives me all the special rights of a junker. I'll be carrying this on my ID from here on out. See, that card is very important. Take great care not to lose it. Look at the cash. This is the cash they gave me for expenses. Having to carry cash around is so inconvenient. Investigate the cash. It's cold, hard cash. There should be plenty to get the job done. To get the job done with. Investigate the ID. It's an ID card with a special IC chip built in. All of my personal data is recorded on this card. Show him the cash. Here's some funds for expenses. Don't waste them. Show him the ID. That's proof that you're a junker. Take good care of it. Ask him about navigators, yeah. It's a robot designed to assist junkers by performing all types of analysis. It's got a pretty good sensor setup, too. Would you like to go next? The sh shooting range. Yeah. This is the shooting range. Uh, junkers come here to improve their marksmanship. Let's show her the cash. A lot of places around here won't take plastic. Cash is king. It uh, cash is king in Neo Kobe. show the ID. It's probably not a good idea to show that to people too much. Ask her how to practice. How do you start practice? Just follow the Junker's Eye practice system. Ask her about Harry. Harry Benson is our engineer. He's a bit of a lush, but he's a friendly and sweet old guy. That's nice. Navigators. Every Junker investigator gets an analysis robot. Quite a combination, eh? We call the robots navigators. Fair enough. Ask about Gibson. His wife was killed by a snatcher two years ago. After that, he quit his detective job and became a junker. Since then, he's been living with his daughter, Katrina. Ask about, yeah, Katrina. She's Jean's only child. She turned 18 this year. Um, look at Mika's face. Your <laughs> you are truly beautiful, Mika. Thanks, Gillian. I'll take that at face value. A number of man-shaped targets appear in the practice booth. We call it our shooting practice range, but it's a lot like a video game arcade, don't you think? Sure, we'll practice. Gillian, you haven't got your blaster yet, have you? Let's hurry and go visit Harry. Come on, let's go see Harry. But I think I should get some practice in first. 
Yes, but... Come on, let me take a crack at it. All right. If you must practice, I'll let you use my ray gun. But it doesn't have the power of the blaster, is that okay? Yeah, thanks, Mika. Okay, let's start shooting practice. Shooting practice? What the fuck was that? Shooting practice. If you press the A button, you can draw your blaster. Press C to fire. Okay. You can put your blaster away again by pressing the A button again. Are you ready? Remember, shoot only snatchers. Be careful you don't hit any civilians. The red gauge on the left shows the number of targets to appear. The yellow gauge on the right shows the number of hits. I'll start it on the introductory level. Boom. Good luck. Oh? You have to actually hold it in that direction. God, if this is how you have to shoot, there's not a whole lot of combat. Hmm, not bad. You've got good eyes. You didn't hit any civilians. You're picking your targets well, but you need to improvise. Uh, you need to improve your reaction time and cut down on the number of wasted shots. Come on, let's go see Henry. Where would you like to go next? Sure, we'll just start at the top now. This is engineering. All the junkers. All the junkers? That's the runner's equipment is made. Wait, all the junkers? That's the runner's equipment is made here. That sentence does not make any sense. Hmm. It doesn't look like Harry's around at the moment. Mika. Yes, what do you want? I can sense that you and I are destined to fall in love. It might sound crazy, but... Gillian, you're married, aren't you? Damn. There are tools and machines all over the place. It's a regular factory in here. This room... Uh, this room always looks like this. I don't know how he finds anything. What do I have? No. Oh, do I have the gun now? No. Um, ask her... Nope. Look. No. Well, I guess Harry's just not here. Um, detective's room. This is the detective's room. It's the office for our runners. That's what we call junker investigators like you. You'll be using that desk in the back. What about this desk here near the door? Gene Jack Gibson. He's our ace runner. I wonder if he really can make it as a junker. A lot of information flows into here. All the information available to our runners is output from Jordan. This is an antique desk. Gene's really into antiques. Oh yeah, we already did that one. Look. 
bar desk. Looks like a nice desk, but I probably won't be using it much. This place is rather different, from, or this place is really different from other detectives' offices. I guess, uh... He's apparently out on an investigation at the moment. I'll introduce you as soon as he gets back. Okay, well, I guess we leave again. Uh, computer room. This is the Junker Headquarters computer room. It's linked to the uh, it's linked to databases throughout the country, so you can find almost any information you might need. You're definitely laying it on too thick, don't you think? Okay, weird. Antiques in the computer room, eh? Haven't seen a keyboard in some time. Look at the area. A number of input and output devices are linked to the host computer. Uh, ask about the computer, yeah. This is our host computer, a model RM1013. We call it Jordan. That's for Junker Online Regional Data Access Network. It employs full-scale artificial intelligence-based processors. Jordan is fully programmed with all human learning routines and uses an intellectual interface, or an intelligent interface, to perform automatic translation, problem solving, you name it. It employs Expert class artificial intelligence routines developed for developed for field work robots. It's the best there is. That was a lot. Ask how to use. First, put your junker card in this slot. Oh ho ho! <laughs> Once it's confirmed, you. Uh, once it, once the little, once it's confirmed you as a user, uh, you just follow the instructions that Jordan flashes. Cannot speak. What the fuck is wrong with me? That Jordan flashes on the screen. Uh, okay. Look at computer. It's smaller than I expected. So this, uh. So this is your host computer, eh? The RM1013 model? Use Jordan. Go ahead, sit down here. Once you're registered on the system, the rest is easy. I am Jordan, Junker Headquarters, Host AI, Computer System. Please insert your ID card. What does this thing got up? What, has this thing got a personality? Okay, Junker card going in. User confirmed as Gillian... Wait. User confirmed as Gillian Seed. Welcome to Jordan. What sort of information do you need? Well, at least it let me in. Load ID file. Jordan ID file. Use the cursor to input the name of the person you are searching for. Input first name, then last name, without a space. For example, input John Konami as John Konami. Nice reference to John Konami, you know? Famous developer. Or you can search with just a... Uh, or you can search with just a name. For example, John. Enter name. Um, what's that dude's name? Oh, what if we just search for Mika?
Mika Slayton, Administrative, Administrative Assistant, Junker Agency, age 23, height 167 centimeters, weight 55 kilometer, blood type A+, marital status, single, graduated from Kobe City University with dual major in criminal psychology and municipal data management, worked at, worked at Kobe Crime Research Lab before moving to Junker Agency, handled numerous unusual cases at the lab and solved them by using the dangerous technique of attaining competent of attaining complete simpatico with the criminals, but psychological stress from the job led her to resign. Recommendation from junk Junker Chief led her to joining the agency. Wow, she does, she has nothing to say about that either. Okay. Load fact file. Jordan fact file. Please select the category you wish to search. So just lore drops. Politics? Sure, let's see what's popping. The North South problem. City isolation policy. Neo Kobe quarantine. The government fearing mainland snatcher infiltration from Neo Kobe. Uh, designated the city a contaminated zone and ordered all the closure of all land, sea, and air links, excluding the Kobe Bridge. The policy was enacted on December 1st, 2047. While the policy appears to have uh, so far prevented any spread of the problem to the mainland, it has exacerbated the isolation of the city itself. Without contributing to a comprehensive solution to the Snatcher Menace, Interesting. Thank you for using Jordan. I look forward to our next session together. Okay. Um, let's leave. Oh, now all we need is something. I don't know, he's quite the freewheeling type. Hey, there he oh, is. Good. Harry's back. Great to meet Look you. at this Giga You're Chad. Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. Hmm, somehow I get the same impression. Have I met this guy somewhere? What's wrong? Do I have something hanging from my nose? Investigate, Harry. Those are odd work clothes. Let me take a look at those. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it. About navigators. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here! Metal Gear? Metal, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mop 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Hell yeah. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's <laughs> turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool little reference there, I think. What if I show him my money? That's your expense money, right? Why don't you put that away somewhere safe? Show him my ID. Oh, you already got your Junker ID, huh? <laughs> I 
Ask about Metal Gear. Navigators are designed from the start as a junker's investigative assistant. On site detection, analysis, recording, communications, you name it, they're packed with the features. And Metal Gear here is the latest model. But what about an attack system? Don't they carry any weapons? Afraid not. They're unarmed. After all, the main idea behind a navigator is to assist in an investigator in investigations data management. But they do have a save function. Just choose the use metal gear command and you can and and then the save command. You can record the exact status of your investigation that way. In the same way you can use the use light command to help you when it's too dark to see. Told you, they were nice to have around, didn't I? How about communications? Does he have some kind of radio? Yep, there's a videotape installed. A video phone installed. A, vid <clears throat> a video phone. That's right, just uh, select use Metal Gear, then use... I don't know what this guy's voice has turned into, but... <laughs> use video phone to access it. In theory, you can have it anywhere. But you have to watch out for interference. Sometimes the signal just can't get through. Look at Metal Gear. It looks like some kind of child's toy. A toy? I'd be interested to see what kind of toys you had as a kid. Yeah, but he's kind of cute. Investigate Metal Gear. Yeah. Full bipedal, bipedal motion system, huh? I don't want anything that's going to slow me down. I wasn't built for running, but in case of emergency... Yeah, in case of emergency, what? Carry me while you run, please. You can't be serious. Tell me you're not serious. ask about the blaster oh that's right uh, don't panic yourself I got it right over here this is your blaster the official weapon of a junker it's got full user feedback circuitry adjusting itself to your reaction time in other words it's just as good as you are what do you think here see how she feels well it's not that good then oh epic it's unbelievably light <laughs> you bet it is this ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's screenshot time. Epic. It's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Hell yeah. It's a bad motherfucker. Alright, I think we'll call it there, actually. I know this was a little more of a chill night, but I think sometimes maybe people want that. Maybe, uh... I definitely want to just do chill shit sometimes, because sometimes I'm just not in a super hyped up mode. And maybe that's what you guys are looking for, too. I don't know. We'll, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. See you in the next one.